and welcome to another Kessler Craftsman Studio Marshalls video blog. So I pull a lot of vitrograph cane, and when you pull a lot of cane, that means you cut a lot of vitrograph marini. In my classes and in my studio, I've noticed that students repeatedly hurt themselves when they're using these tiny hand mosaic cutters to cut cane. Now, before I go on, I'm not professionally qualified to speak to repetitive stress injury or carpal tunnel syndrome. I'm not a doctor or a PT or an OT or anybody that knows about those things professionally. But I can tell you as a kiln class expert that I see fatigue and even injury as a result. So today's blog is going to talk about some alternatives, some tools that use big muscles, forearms, shoulders, etc., to cut cane into vitrograph murini instead of little muscles and mosaic cutters. So I hope you'll watch, enjoy, benefit, and spread the word. Thank you. Most of the Murini choppers with which I am aware of are based on a gear puller available at your local purveyor of Chinese hardware. This particular model, the most popular with which I'm familiar with, is based on that design with two round mosaic cutter heads that enable you to efficiently cut the cane without physical injury. A great tool. Of late, my favorite is a model that involves using two cutter heads at the bottom. These two cutter heads effectively cradle the cane and center it so that it's a bit faster and a bit more efficient. Again, both machines are great, work well, and avoid injury for the kiln form glass worker. If you're unable or unwilling to spend the money, there's a third option. Take your hand cutter and affix a piece of pipe, a dowel, or some other long instrument. Affix the hand cutter in a vise. Figure out how to catch the cane and go for it. Again, good luck.